All I see are rocks and dirt in the ground and not even a, uh, any kind of indication that a building is going to be built here. So I think their schedule is way off. And uh, it seems that drivers will all from bottom out here too. What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Monday, December 27th, 2021. And it's about quarter to 5 p.m. It's 37 Fahrenheit, three degrees Celsius. And I'll be walking from the Northern Boulevard subway station in Woodside to Long Island City. This route is very commercial and is populated with a lot of car dealerships and big box retail stores such as Best Buy and Home Depot. The subway station's only entrance and exit is over here for the Forest Hills bound side and the Manhattan bound side is over there. It's located at the intersection of Northern Boulevard and Broadway. And here's a uh, bus stop for the Q66, which is just arriving mm -hmm. now. The last stop on that bus is uh, Flushing Main Street. Over here, there's a COVID-19 testing site. There's a few people here waiting to get tested now. Many months ago, there was a COVID testing site in here run by the city, the Health and Hospitals uh, Corporation. But that has all been uh, changed now because they're building a school here. I think it's a high school. And it's actually very contested because as you can see here, Northern Boulevard isn't exactly the uh, safest street to cross. So can you imagine having a school here and then people um, having to cross the street, the students, the teachers. Before um, this was all knocked down, this used to be the sports authority. Well, there's several uh, testing tents here. Let's see uh, the sign here. Pine Tree Realty is the owner. And it's anticipated completion quarter four of 2021. Well, all I see are rocks and dirt in the ground and not even a, uh, any kind of indication that a building is gonna be built here. So I think their schedule is way off. You can see in the distance there, the skyline of Manhattan, Empire State Building. I see uh, one Vanderbilt in the background. Over here to my left is a strip mall the Tower Square Shopping Center. And I already told you that there's a lot of car dealerships here, but there's a lot of other services catered to uh, drivers as well. Jiffy Lube across the street, there's a car wash. In this Tower Square strip mall, wide variety of businesses. The Michaels Arts and Crafts uh, store is the anchor. Also, the Dollar Tree is pretty popular. It's got a large space for the Dollar Tree.
There's actually a lot of, um, of these tents up over here. I guess they need it after the uh, city closed the, uh, the larger one where this prior sports authority was. But Tower Square, pretty unique because they got these two towers with the clock. And it says, uh, New York and Queens Company RY. Is it Realty? There's also a waiting room. I don't really know the history too much to uh, know what was here before. Okay, slow up a little bit. <laughs> that dryer was ready to run me over and not give me any room to cross the street. I was just kind of waiting to see what the dryer would do. Slow up, stop. Right now it looks like it's $3.55 for regular and $4 for premium. $4.05 for premium. A little bit cheaper across the street. $3.39 for regular at Gas Track. And now the first of many car dealerships along Northern Boulevard. This is Dodge. Actually, I think it's a major world Chrysler. Chrysler is the parent company. They also own uh, Jeep and Ram as well. Just don't walk in there or the car salesman will be uh, talking to you forever and ever. It's a well-known trick of car salesmen to keep you there as long as possible and they'll get the person emotionally invested in the deal and it'll be better for their sales. We got Best Buy across the street. This Best Buy is pretty large. They also got their own parking lot across the street on uh, 50th Street. Here's Home Depot. This Home Depot gets pretty popular. Also, you gotta be careful because the cars will drive straight to this driveway here and there's a pedestrian signal. And uh, it seems that drivers will often bottom out here too. And in the middle of the Home Depot, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a great Italian sausage place in front of the Home Depot. I think it's uh, gotten a lot of great reviews on Yelp and won some awards. Personally, I don't really make the trip out here to go to Home Depot. But I guess it's good for those people who uh, go to Home Depot, they drive in and they want to get something to eat. That's an option.
Over here is a huge shopping complex. Burlington, Raymore and Flanagan is here. Um, there used to be a Chinese buffet here too, but I'm not sure if it's still around. And also a movie theater um, is here. I just walked quickly, so I was able to get across. Northern Boulevard isn't really the most pedestrian friendly of streets in Queens. The city has been trying, especially with the uh, installation of the bike lane here, but there is no physical protection from motorists. It's just the flexible bollard posts, which Drivers can easily go over anyway. Wonder what the deal with Old Navy is here. Why is the window display of Old Navy all empty? Are they closing this location? It says clearance, 75% off, 50% off. Let's take a quick peek around the corner. All right, Old Navy looks like it's still here. I was uh, shocked for a little bit. But the other big retailers here are Chuck E. Cheese, Guitar Center, and Marshalls. And over there, there's also BJ's Wholesale Club as well. There used to be a Toys R Us um, store in that shopping center. And then I think there was also a Pergament Home Improvement store. But now that entire area has pretty much been taken over by BJ's. The city's been working on repairing that sewer grate. As you can see, lots of car dealerships. This is uh, North Star Mitsubishi. <laughs> I was gonna say Mitsubishi, but. Before I continue, I wanna make sure I'm safe. So I'm gonna put my camera down here and tie my shoes. Now you get a good close-up of my shoes. They're New Balance walking shoes. They get a lot of questions what my shoes are. All right. Now that's taken care of. Let's resume the walk. And this has to be one of the most debative bench designs ever. It's kind of like hostile infrastructure because they got these little spikes up here so people can't lay on top of them and it's not really flat so people can't sit on them either really 
So it's one of the strangest benches that I've ever seen. Oh, it looks like Burlington is in the space that Toys R Us fo uh, formerly occupied. So there's Burlington and BJ's in that shopping plaza now. Here's a Buick GMC Cadillac in a city Cadillac, I guess. You have to be a little bit careful because these drivers can turn into uh, any one of these businesses. I do think there's a possibility of some rain. Hopefully that doesn't happen because I didn't bring an umbrella with me. Looks like we could see even more of Manhattan now. I see a Billionaire's Row over there, 432 Park Avenue, 157, 57th Street, and uh, the Central Park Tower. It's a rather large vacant space to the left of me. I actually don't know what used to be here. Maybe it was another auto dealership, but it's been a while since I've been in this part of Northern Boulevard. Glad to see some people are making use of the Northern Boulevard bike lane. Here's a restaurant equipment uh, dealer, the Wind Depot. It 
So if you want restaurant supplies, that's where you go. There's a large Harley Davidson dealership across the street. So over here is a large uh, supermarket, the Food Bazaar. It's actually one of the best supermarkets in the area. And as you can tell, pretty much all the parking spaces are filled up. There's also a Dunkin' Donuts in there, a teriyaki place, and Singer's Famous Pizza. Before Food Bazaar, there was a Pathmark supermarket. I'm glad another supermarket has replaced it. Here's 36th Avenue. There's also a great um, Hispanic restaurant here, La Chosa de Gordo, across the street. They've got some uh, leftover Christmas decorations. Santa on his sleigh with reindeer, as well as um, an angel on the roof there. Actually, it looks very well decorated, they even decorated the inside. Lexus dealership. Love the poinsettia flowers they've got in the front. This used to be a gas station, the Speedway. And now we have a major street, Steinway Street to my right. 
And this over here is a huge development. It used to be a one-story grocery store called Western Beef, but as you can see now, it is a huge condo building with retail space on the first floor. And Steinway Street becomes 39th Street as it crosses Northern Boulevard. And if you continue on 39th Street to my left, you'll go over the uh, sunny side yards of Amtrak, Long Island Railroad, and New Jersey Transit into Sunnyside. This property management um, place has a nice Christmas tree in the back. I just caught a glimpse of the Chrysler building before the scaffolding took the view away. Because of New York City's overly strict laws on building safety, we have these scaffolding structures up all over the city. There's actually more people using the bike lane than I thought. It's an important corridor for uh, people to commute from Manhattan all the way to uh, Central Queens. I just wish that the city would implement some kind of physical barrier instead of these flex posts. But that's wishful thinking. Here's the 36th Street subway station on the M and R. Pretty bright Mercedes-Benz car dealership there. It's also on that side of the street as well.
this part of Long Island City is still very industrial. There are parts of Long Island City which are building up with a lot of residential condos, especially around the Queensboro Plaza area and the waterfront. And then you got places like over here where you're starting to see it, but there's still a lot of warehouses and commercial businesses like this Volkswagen dealer. Why is this person in the bike lane? Kind of strange that they were there. Three forty nine a gallon at the Shell gas station. And if you're paying by card, it's three fifty nine. This is the Human Resources Administration Building. So if you need social services like the um, like the EBT card, you come over here. City of New York Human Resources Administration. This place can be a little bit difficult to find. I've encountered many people down by the Queens Plaza area. They've asked where the Human Resource Building is. And I have to tell them you got to walk a pretty good distance along Northern Boulevard and uh, isn't really clear cut and dry where the entrance is. They make it very hostile <laughs> to people looking for it. Just a lot of cars and uh, these shuttered gates, and there's limited entrances. So, not only that, you don't really see a number for the address, pretty much. Here's a 3300 dock, but Little kid almost ran into me. This is the employee entrance to the Human Resource Administration. I think this is the uh, public entrance on this corner. It's still open now. That's the 39th Avenue subway station on the N and W to go to Astoria. And Honeywell Street. There's a bridge which goes over the rail tracks into a different part of Long Island City. And soon we'll be merging with the train tracks and be walking underneath them. I forgot to mention that um, 
this road that I'm walking on, Northern Boulevard, is actually the longest, uh, longest street which bears its name in uh, Queens and Long Island. No other street bears the name as long as this one because Northern Boulevard, it extends all the way from here to Long, um, in Long Island City, almost all the way to the Nassau and Suffolk border by uh, Cold Spring Harbor, I believe. It still retains the Northern Boulevard name. And even past that, um, this entire route is known as Route 25A. That pretty much continues through the stretch of the island And Northern Boulevard is known um, past Queens Boulevard, where I'll be ending the video as Jackson Avenue. All right, there's 31st Street across the street. And it will end and become Northern Boulevard. This uh, gym, I think, is pretty new. The Powerhouse Gym. There's also a bike lane here, but as you can see, drivers park in it anyway. Here comes a Astoria bound W train. careful here this car turning left and this car exiting even though I have the pedestrian signal That person should really be putting on their headlight on their scooter.
comes another subway. And also here's the Queens Plaza subway station, which is underground, compared to Queens Borough Plaza, which is above ground. The two uh, stations are not connected and you don't get a free transit between them. like this uh, the building is getting a lot of deliveries. It's an Alta Plus residential building. Well, here I am at the Queens uh, Boulevard, Queens Plaza section, I wanted to say, at Queens Boulevard. And this will be the conclusion of my walk on Northern Boulevard from Broadway to Queens Boulevard. If you enjoyed this video, then smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos like these, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.